You can't just say you're not shitting in here. Go find your own, like go take a dump where? In someone's garden? Okay, hear me out, hear me out. If they're extensive renovations and they're going to be on your property for a long time, like maybe they should provide a portal loop. <laughs> Question number one. Recently, we've been having renovations done to our house, meaning lots of tradies are coming and going. Tradies were literally arriving at our house and not long after we're requesting to use the toilet and doing number twos with sound effects, which was awkward. One day it was so loud. I had to turn the TV on to drown the symphony out that was happening in the bathroom. Not just a once off, but this was happening every day of the renos. Am I the only one to think that it's not acceptable? My husband was a lot more understanding than I was, but maybe that's because he is not the one who's having to clean up the toilet bowl. Should tradies not ask to use the toilet if they need to do a poo or am I being unreasonable? <laughs> Spoiler, of course it's happening every day. People need to poo every day. No, I'm imagining they're arriving on site with their coffee, finishing their coffee and being like, oh, fuck, it's time. Yeah, probably. They start at 7 a.m. I'm actually pro a tradie being able to use the bathroom. If you have someone come to your house to Brit do work, pro shit. they need to go to the toilet. You need to let them do a poo. If you don't want them in your toilet, you have to provide a port -a You can't just say you're not shitting in here. Go find your own, like go take a dump where? In someone's garden? Okay, no, but depends on what the renovations are. If they're No, it doesn't. It, okay, hear me out, hear me out. If they're extensive renovations and they're going to be on your property for a long time, like maybe they should provide a port -a <laughs> No, but that's what I'm saying. If but you that don't come from the business, like as in like. But if you've just employed one tradie. Well, you said you've got a lot of trades coming. You either need to provide them a toilet, you can't just ban them, or you need to go to the head of the trade and say you need to provide them a toilet because they can't come into my house anymore. Like, you don't have to let them into your house to the toilet if you don't want, but I think that's pretty rude. Like, at the end of the day, they are an employee, right? Like, you have employed them to come to your... Don't shit. To come to your place if they need to go to the toilet, imagine Keisha being like, I need to go to the toilet. I'm like, suck shit. You gotta go, you're got you not going to the toilet here. You've got to go outside. Well, remember when we used to, okay, so if you're new to the podcast, we used to not record in a studio. We used to record in our house. I would rock up to Brit's house. And take a dump every, every time. Day. And I was like, man, and take do a shit, shit at your own house. Because I had had my coffee. I, I would get my coffee on the way to your record. I would get to your house. I felt comfortable around you. I would do a shit in your bathroom and then we would record. It's a lie. You're a sicko <laughs> because it wasn't the same time a day every time it's my it, kink it like doesn't do a shit in Brit's bath. yep it doesn't matter what time of day it was you could turn up at 7 10 midday 4 you'd always take a dump the second you oh. walked there you <laughs> held it in so that you didn't have to shit in your do own you know house why? because your house used to be my house but it's not it's, anymore it's a house I feel really comfortable in and I'm so familiar with shitting in that bathroom that it just kind of felt like my second home yeah but also your turds stink I know like yours are not normal I t also in my defense I don't just do one uh, this is too much information for everyone I don't do one a day I'm like a four a day kind of gal I'm in the, every time I go to the toilet I do a poo I, I'm sure there's something wrong with me look I have been in this situation before you may not remember this, but many years ago, we used to have a tradie that would come to our house all the time. And he came this one day after obviously being out and getting blind drunk the night before because he was really late. You could tell that he was like, you know, you could tell he'd had a big one the night before. And he did the stinkiest like post grog bog poo in our bathroom to the point where like the whole house was stunk out. And I remember talking about it on the podcast and then he heard and then he confronted us. <laughs> he was offended. <laughs> and then he wouldn't come back to my house. The poo tradie. Um, yeah, the, the poo tradie. But, but, but look, I did let him go, obviously. You have to. You have to let them go to the toilet. But if they're working for extensive periods of time, I think it's on the company that you've employed to provide them a port -a if they're doing massive renovations. It also depends where you live. Like if you're not in a location that has a public toilet down the road or like a cafe or something where they can go on McDonald's, whatever. If you're in like suburbia and there is nothing around, you can't just say to someone like, sorry, you got to have to go find your own toilet. Like, And I always think put yourself in that situation. Every single person now, I don't care if you admit it or not, has been in a precarious predicament where all of a sudden you've needed to do a poo, like out of nowhere, whether you're unwell, whether you've eaten something off, Imagine if you were about to shit yourself 
and you've gone to ask the person where you are, hey, can I quickly go to the toilet? And they say no. Imagine. Yeah, but this is a daily thing. This is not like, this is just their regular, I need to go, I'm going to use the toilet as though it's my own house. I don't know. My only thing, my only reservation about this is the volume of tradies and the length of time. I think if it's a substantial renovation and you have people coming in and out and in and out, your bathroom is not a thoroughfare for the entire trade service. Should I, I call think, my dad right now and ask him? He's a tradie. Uh, yeah, I think okay, in that instance, the company who you've hired these tradies through, if it's through one central company that's like, you know, contracting everyone, they should organize an on-site portal. It's weird. I'm calling my dad. Hang on. Let's just see if he answers. He might be doing a poo. <laughs> hey, Pop, how are I'm you? I'm not doing a poo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, if you go to a job and you yeah. need to do a, a job, <laughs> a poo, yeah. is it standard for you to be able to use the toilet at the house that you're renovating or is it standard practice that the business has to provide a port or do you just always go and find like a McDonald's or a public toilet? Oh, look, at it. it depends really. Most places you go to, if you're doing a renovation where people are living, 99% of the time people will go, you know, maybe if you need to use a toilet, there's one down near the laundry there or whatever, you know? Yeah. If you're on a... A site, a new construction, they're supposed to put a portal in there. What if it is ongoing reno, like the reno is taking two months, for example, but there yep. is only one toilet in the house and the tradesmen have to walk in and out and in and out <laughs> to use the toilet that's in the middle of the house? Oh, look, I think if that's the case, you'd probably go to, you know, your McDonald's or something. But <laughs> then, then it becomes an issue. The client says, hey, how come this is taking so long? We say, well, because you're making us drive 15 minutes every time we want to do a wee. True. Difference between a wee and a shit, you know? though. Okay. All right. So at the end of the day, um, you think it should be okay. If we're going to summarize, you think it should be okay to use the toilet if you have to, if you're trading? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, look, if people go, no, I don't want you in the house. I don't want you. I mean, you're in the house anyway. Totally. Doing a renovation of some sort. What's the matter? As long as the people respect your toilet and, and look after <laughs> it and don't leave it in a shitty state. Literally shitty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, with a permission or you sneak one while they're out getting the groceries or something. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Pop. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. I think the stock standard response should be whether or not you're a tradie, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're using someone's toilet and you leave a skid mark, respect you, the use, toilet. you use the brush. Respect the toilet. Big Tony said respect the toilet. I, I can't tell you how many times you have to clean up skiddies in a household. And often they're not yours. I know, Laura. I've cleaned up your skitties a hundred times. Nah, man. I always use <laughs> nah, the brush. Man. Nah, man. I'm I am a one hundred percent shit and brusher every time. Even if there's no skitties, I'll still use the brush. Isn't it weird? There's actually something so gross. Like if you go to the toilet in your own house, and there's a skitty. It's fine. You're like cool. Like I, it's me. I'll clean it. Whatever. But if it's someone else's skitty, it's just more gross, isn't it? Like if you know that's come is. from someone else, even though it doesn't change how you clean it, doesn't nothing changes. It still came from the same place. But when it hasn't belonged to you, for some reason, it, it cites like this level of like vom. No, usually because it's from my kids, so I can deal with it. So long as it's not Matt's skitty, I don't care. <laughs> okay, this is too much poo talk. <laughs>